All right, guys. So I wanted to show you, <clears throat> as a millennial, you know, I'm 29, and a lot of this stuff is uh, a little bit too close to home. Uh, young adults are burdened with debt. They're now facing an economic crisis. So now, this happens every eight to nine years. Um, when you study mono mono monetary policy, um, this is kind of what they do. It's called shearing the sheep. You don't slaughter them. It's a Wall Street term. And I only say that because there's YouTubers that I follow who are ex-Wall Streeters who have been in that, um, understand the shadow banking, which is the Federal Reserve, which is, that's your treasury, that is your uh, repo market, the bonds. Anyways, young people who have entered this financial downturn with fewer resources than generations before them. Generations before mine as a millennial are the Gen Xers, okay? And this is from the New York Times. So here's somebody 26 that they're talking about. Lost his job at a carpet store and almost all of his shifts at his second jobs at a coffee shop. Imagine that. You know, um, his girlfriend, Caitlin Gardner, who was 23, was laid off from another different coffee shop, Okay. Their bank account assets were just over a thousand, which is just barely enough to cover the week's eight hundred dollar rent check. Forget about the student loans. Okay, a couple, the couple have spent their time at home applying for unemployment, fruitlessly looking for new work. Okay, which totally believable. That's the case. Um, keep in mind that these uh, these are telephone systems and. Uh, a telephone system because I work in IT um, they're only good for so many open lines all right they're overloaded with uh, well the last few years are largely good ones from the American economy that did little to help set up the Millennials with a solid financial foundation overloaded with the credit card debt student debt and underrepresented in the housing and stock markets imagine that I own nothing to my name um, they entered this uncertain period with significant obligations and few resources. <laughs> Too close to home for me. Um, their position looked doubly precarious when measured against the older generations today relative to those generations when they were the same ages. All right. So this is the part that uh, really gets me when I was reading this. Okay. Going into the financial crisis of 2008, the Generation X, which is before mine as a millennial, was roughly the same age as millennials are today, but had on average twice the total assets that millennials now have when all bank accounts, stocks, and loans are added together. So they're twice as paper rich. According to the analysis done, for the New York Times by economists, okay? So this is the New York Times compiling all this data about millennials versus the Gen Xs in the 2008 at the St. Louis Fed Reserve. So Gen Xers today are 40 to 55. I know my mom and her husband, they're able to sit this out. They're able to wait this out. They're able to, um, they'll be somewhat okay if they don't lose their job, but I am hungry and I need money today. Not tomorrow, not the next day, today. Um, so, the car that I'm sitting in, well, more than likely, it's not even mine. It'll be the banks. It is the banks. They'll own everything. So anyways, I just want to share this with you guys. This is a very close-to-home article. I hope you guys are having a good day. Goodbye for now.